Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. It's Abbas here and I'm super excited to have you join me for another adventure. Today we are going to visit the largest reservoir in Kerala, it's Malambura Garden. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. The entry ticket is 30 rupees for adult and 10 rupees for children below 12 years. Visiting time is 8 am to 8 pm. They accept only cash. The Malambura Gardens were built in the year 1953. They have since become one of the most popular tourist attractions in the Palaga district of Kerala. It is known for its beautiful gardens and parks which are modeled after the famous Brindavan Gardens in Mysore. The months of August through April are the ideal times to visit Malambura Dam because of the pleasant weather and the reservoir will be full. The monsoon season brings with it a lot of rain which adds to the beautiful greenery surrounding the dam. For safety concerns, some attractions can be closed or limited during this period. The best time to go sightseeing, take in the chilly wind and take in the foggy views of the hills and dam is during the winter months of November through February. In addition to being hot and muggy, the summer brings clear skies and vibrantly colored flowers and plants for the garden. Within the Malambura Gardens is a children's park with a variety of play areas and amenities for kids. Many slides, many go rounds, swing sets, overhead ladders, and similar attractions are available. A toy train is another feature that circles the children's park. It is pretty safe to leave children there as the park is well surrounded by fence and children cannot accidentally go out of the park. There are several eateries around the dam and gardens where you can enjoy local Kerala cuisine. However, there are no clubs or bars in the vicinity as it is a family friendly place. There are two hanging bridges across the Malambura River in Malambura Garden. This is a beautiful hanging suspension bridge made up of rope. A walk through this bridge is crazy. It gives a stunning view of the lush greenery and the calm waters below. It is a popular spot for the photography. We are heading to Yakshi Park now. Yakshi is a mythological female figure and is an iconic statue created in 1969 by one of the famous sculptors Kanai Kunyiraman. It is a 30 feet tall statue and one single piece of rock was used to make this enormous statue. Boating facilities are available in the canal in the garden. 
We can take tickets for boating from here. The price starts from 100 to 500 rupees based on the type of boat you take to enjoy the water ride. If you want to go further into the river, you have an option to hire a motorboat and peek into the forest. Construction of the dam began in 1940s under the leadership of KM Chandi. It was completed in 1955. The dam is 355 feet high and crosses the Malambada River. It is mainly built with stone and brick. The stairs are taking us to the top of the dam. There is a network of two canal systems. The canal systems serve to irrigate farmland while the reservoir provides drinking water for Palaka town and six adjacent panjayats. As we step onto the dam's surface, we are immediately struck by the sheer magnitude of this engineering marvel. The expanse of water stretching out before us is inspiring with the lush greenery of the surrounding landscape providing a stunning backdrop. During summer, if scarcity of water is too high, irrigation department lifts the shutters of the dam. You can look around and enjoy the full view of the garden and on the other side you can enjoy the vast reservoir surrounded by the big rocky mountains. We are delving into the history of the Malambada Dam by exploring some old photos of its construction. These are some of the fascinating images that date back to the early 1950s when the dam was being built. By looking at these images, you can really get a sense of the hard work and dedication that went into the building such an important landmark for the region. It must have been such a proud moment for everyone involved. It's moments like these that remind us of the rich history and heritage behind landmarks like the Manambara Dam. It is not just a structure, it is a symbol of progress and resilience. One of the major attractions of the Malambada Dam is Ropeway. It is the South India's first and the only passenger ropeway of its kind. A ropeway goes over the garden and in front of the dam giving a 20 minutes ride letting you make peace with your mind and enjoy the 360 degree view of this attraction. Flying over the garden at a height of 60 feet and providing the best panoramic view of the beautiful landscapes. The best part is, we get to experience it all from the comfort of our own. It is such a unique way to explore the beauty of Malambada Gardens. The ropeway is completely safe and offers a smooth and steady ride from start to finish. Riding the ropeway at Malambada Gardens is an experience we will never forget.
It's a moment of tranquility amidst the chaos of daily life, allowing us to pause, reflect and appreciate the beauty of our surroundings. As we continue our journey, we can't help but marvel at the ingenuity and craftsmanship that went into building this structure. The sheer scale of the dam is a testament to human innovation and determination, reminding us of our ability to shape the world around us. It is also about the experience of being in the moment of connecting with nature and with each other. It is a chance to create memories that will last a lifetime. And we are grateful to be able to share this journey with you. As we reach the end of our video, we are filled with a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to explore this incredible landmark. It's been an unforgettable experience and we hope you have enjoyed coming along for the ride. Until next time, thanks for watching.